How is it going everybody? Thanks a lot for joining me for another tequila review. Tequila Tuesday today. Um, summer outside, super hot. Figured, you know what, review a tequila, maybe make a margarita later. Um, yeah, for me, tequila is a nice summery drink. Uh, so yeah, always like a nice tequila in the summer. I've got a couple tequilas in my bar right now, home bar and a few on the way so uh gonna give them reviews over the next three four weeks stuff like that and um yeah on to the tequila this is tequila cimarron blanco uh this is made in i believe yeah the los altos altos de jalisco uh prefil seco so supposed to be a dry uh, profile, 40% um, alcohol by volume, 80 proof, um, yeah, a liter bottle cost, I think I paid like 55 Canadian, uh, bloody good deal, that's about 35, 40 American, I think, uh, yeah, amazing deal, um, figured I had to pick it up, so, been really enjoying it, as you can see, uh, got about a two six worth done out of this guy so far and um, yeah pour this guy in my glass figured it. give it a good old review been really enjoying it uh, especially for the price point and it's certified additive free which is really cool as well um, so they're doing it right um, yeah I don't know exactly where in Los Otos de Jalisco, it's made. I don't know if it's made in the south, the sur, or the norte, north. But um, yeah, let's try it out. The aroma. Oh man, that's got this green onion aroma to it. An aroma I started associating with Raisias. I had the pleasure of being in Jalisco, Puerto Vallarta, and uh, drank a bunch of Raisia tequilas, a bit of mezcal out there, Durango mezcals, pretty damn good. Um, but yeah, it's reminding me a bit of that funky Raisia thing. Uh, Honestly, the aroma, um, really cool. Yeah, funky, uh, almost oniony, buttery. Yeah, salted butter. But you also get the classic cooked agave, the uh, steamed kind of uh, lightly roasted agave notes. Um, peppery. Uh, herbal, um, yeah, definitely a seco profile on this boy. Let's try it out. Really excited to give this guy a taste. I haven't sipped it straight uh, in quite a few weeks now, so. Oh. Man, that is really pleasant. Hmm. Kind of shocked by this one. I am getting like a lightly green onion scallion kind of thing. But lots of like icing sugar, light vanilla, almost like a cream soda, Mexican vanilla, yeah, bit of, bit of raw cinnamon, untoasted cinnamon, but lots of black pepper 
tons of black pepper, a spicy note to it. This light minerality, uh, almost like seawater kind of thing, more like lake water, I should say. Um, just the slight minerally kind of thing to it. This is a really good tequila. Damn. For the price, I'm buying more of this for sure. Um, one guy uh, I was talking to for a bit on uh, the YouTubes here, and I think on Instagram, Luis Fernandez, uh, he says in his bar, uh, he uses Cimarron as the uh, well tequila, like the basic tequila you make everything from. And damn, this is a step above for the exact same price of regular tequilas, you know. Um, cheaper than most shitty tequilas, actually. <laughs> this is wild. Uh, I think I'm making this guy my regular. Um, yeah, that's phenomenal. For ratings, as a tequila in general, I'd probably give this like a... 88 something like that as a spirit itself 88 but just for the price point you'd have to like this is one of the best values uh on the market in my opinion damn it you fucking fly get away from me and not old enough to drink um someone told me host flies only live up to like one day 24 hours I don't know if I believe that I should look that up hmm. but yeah really nice pleasant the mouthfeel is really cool it's a little bit a little bit of alcohol heat here but like it goes down so smooth there's no alcohol burn almost washes away on the tongue and then rest of your like mouth just has the lingering flavor you know really easy drinking comp but like yeah easy drinking but the flavors that are there are really good complex too there's lots of layers to the flavors you could build so many good cocktails with this um you could do palomas take uh margaritas you could do uh, Laguna Azuls, which I believe is like the uh, Blue Lagoon cocktail, but with tequila. Um, yeah, I mean, that's really good. 88 for sure. High B plus on Cimarron Blanco, 100% de agag ag agave. agave. Um, yeah, enjoying this one. Really impressed, really impressed. I'll have to seek out the <laughs> reposado. <laughs> reposado. I'm bad at rolling my R's, something to do with my tongue. Never been good at it. But um, yeah, I think I'll have to pick up the reposado and um, give that a review as well. I hear that one's even better. So yeah, personally I like Blancos, but yeah. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Please give me a like, comment, and subscribe if you like this review. If you want to see more tequila, mezcal, agave, and uh, craft beer reviews, give the channel a like. Um, I'm thinking of starting to do some Isle scotches and stuff. Big fan of the Islays. But, yeah. Maybe some, like more cane spirits like uh agricole rum cachaças stuff like that piscos uh yeah cheers